Going live on Facebook gaming is pretty complicated to say at the least. How do you even appear on people's timelines and in groups? How do you go from setting up your stream to actually showing up on Facebook? And what about the complicated setup page bombarding you with settings and the completely new interface you get when you click on go live? I know it can be daunting to get into so let me take you through the whole process from creating a good Facebook gaming page to the point where your life and everything is set up correctly and it just works. What's up everyone, I'm the video nerd and you're in luck today because I found the perfect sponsor for this video. Since you're about to start streaming, you're probably setting up your stream and that means that you will need graphics. I know, I know there are some free ones out there, but let's be honest, most of them look like garbage. My sponsor owns sells professional looking animated stream designs that will give you an edge above others by having a good looking stream. You can go to their website right now and look for a design that you like and instead of guessing if it will look good while streaming, you can just preview every element in their preview widget by triggering it with the buttons on the side and at the bottom. Their big library of stream packs will definitely have something that you like and since all of their designs are modular, you can create a stream layout that's unique to that of your stream. Many of my viewers have already bought one and with my code TVN you get 50% of your purchase so if you're looking for a professional stream look, then now is definitely the time to check this out. The first thing you'll need to stream on Facebook is a Facebook page. If you don't have one, you can click on the plus icon on the top right and then choose page or you can go to pages and then click on create page on the left. Enter a name, choose gaming video creator as category, this is important by the way, and then describe your page. You can see how it will look on the preview on the right. Now once you're ready, you click on create page and now they will ask you to add a banner and a profile picture. If you don't have that, you can always get my free neon overlay pack which you can find on my discord. It includes all stream graphics you will need and it also includes social media banners and profile pictures templates that you can edit for free with the online photoshop editor called photopia the link to my discord will be in the description and in that discord post i will also have a link to a setup video that will explain you exactly how to change all the elements, change the colors, change the text and customize it to choose your own branding. Once you've chosen your graphics, click on save and your basic page setup is done. First things first, hide this post from your timeline because it screams amateurism. You can edit your page information further and then start making posts etc. But let's continue setting up the live stream part of this page because that's what this video is about. On the left you can see creator studio so let's go there. Now Facebook does very frequent interface updates so maybe you can't find the creator studio. In that case just go to google and then search for facebook creator studio. And boom it's the same thing. Now on top you can see all your pages in this drop down. Deselect them all except for the one that we just created and then click on view. Now there's a bunch of stuff we could set up here but you're here to learn how to go live so let me quickly show you the live dashboard and then we'll go straight to the going live setting. So right here on the left you can find creative tools and under that you will see live dashboard. This gives you everything you will need while being live on one page. You can change your game and your title, you can set goals, you can do polls with your viewers, you can see your current stats and a bunch of other stuff. You should check this out while being live. Now go back to home on the left and then click on the go live button. This will open a new page with settings and these are the ones you need to set up every time you want to go live. When you scroll to the top you can see that here is where your live preview will appear once Facebook is receiving your stream footage from your streaming program. Now let's scroll back to the bottom and then let's take a look at what we need to set up right here. Now on the left you can choose to schedule a live video which will give you a preview of how it will look on people's timelines and also very similar options to the go live right now but we want to go live immediately so let's choose go live now. Now under posts you will need to choose where you want to go live so by default it will probably have selected your page which is how it should be but just to know that right here you can swap between going live on your personal profile on one of your pages or in a group. We will be choosing to share our stream to a page you manage and then choose our gaming page in the next drop down. Then next you can give your stream a title, give it a description and choose the first lines of your description very carefully because this is what will show up on people's timelines and this is what should intrigue them to click on your stream. Then under that you can choose your game and then upload a thumbnail. Now this is not required but it can help to grab people's attention and I also have a thumbnail preset in my Neon Graphics pack so you can edit that one, put your name on it with a picture or something like that if you want a thumbnail. 
thumbnail. Now, if you have multiple pages and you want to go live to more than one of them, then you can select them right here and your stream will also be posted on those pages. And if you're in any groups that allow sharing of videos, then you will be able to select those right here and then your stream will also be posted in those groups. Now, when you click on audience settings, you can set a minimum age for your stream and you can also restrict certain locations or only allow some locations and restrict all others. Also, if you're testing your stream, you can enable this checkbox right here and then you will be the only one who can see the stream appear on Facebook. But keep in mind, if you're following this right now and changing some settings, etc., if you enable the test button, then everything will reset. So now let's take a look at the information in the middle right here, because this is the most important thing about this whole setup. Now, Facebook lets you choose between using a stream key, simply using your camera to go live or to use a paired encoder. And we are going to use a stream key today. Definitely enable this box right here to make sure that your stream key never changes because this is the key that we will enter in OBS Studio or in Streamlabs OBS so that our streaming program can connect with Facebook. Now, if you check this box, then this stream key will not keep changing. So then you will only need to enter it once in your streaming program instead of updating it every time you want to go live. If you don't want people to be able to rewind your video, then you can disable that function by checking this box under the viewing settings. Now under comments, you can also find a bunch of settings and restrictions regarding the comments of your stream. So you can set this up if you want. Now let's scroll to the top. And if you can't see your offline stream, then stop scrolling and then start scrolling again till you see the big empty preview. Now we will link our streaming program. So OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS to Facebook and then go live. And then the stream will appear right here on this black window. I will show you how to do that both for OBS Studio and for Streamlabs OBS. So let's open them both and put them next to each other. By the way, I have a big playlist about setting up Streamlabs OBS and I also have one for OBS Studio. They are the pillar content of my channel and every time something gets updated, I make a new video about it and then I replace it in the playlist so it's always up to date. So if you still need to set up your stream, then you can use one of those playlists. My viewers are loving them. You can find links to both of them in the first part of my description under this video. Now, if you're using Streamlabs OBS, then make sure you're logged in with Facebook, not because this is necessary to go live, but because then you will be able to add Facebook labels and alerts and stuff. And Streamlabs will also save your settings and overlays to your Facebook login. Okay, so once you're logged in on Streamlabs OBS, I will do the same thing for both programs. To add your key to these programs, you will need to go to the settings and then to the stream tab. And that's the same for both of them. In Streamlabs OBS, you will need to click on stream to custom ingest. And then as your service, you can select Facebook Live. And that's the same for Streamlabs OBS and for OBS Studio. Now the server can stay at default and then just paste your stream key. That's also the same for both programs. So now since we linked our streaming program to Facebook, once you go live right now, your streaming program will start sending the footage to your Facebook account. But it's important to note that you're not live yet. When you go back to the Facebook go live page, you will see that your footage is now being received right here, but you still need to click on go live on the bottom left. So right now would be a good time to double check your settings on the left double check the look of your stream and you can also see the settings that Facebook is receiving on your stream preview right here. So you can check the bitrate, the resolution and the frame rate to make sure that everything is as it should be. Then once you're ready, you click on go live and then your stream will actually be published on your Facebook page, on Facebook gaming and in all the groups that you've selected. So if you still need to set up anything for your stream, I suggest you to go to one of my two complete stream setup playlists as I mentioned before one for Streamlabs OBS and one for OBS Studio. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope that I will see you in one of these playlists. Have a nice day.